brush is very soft. They're so soft. Did you mention they're antibacterial? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jules Rambling. So today, um, I'm following up all of my Rolex videos and you're finding me in the tap room. I did not really buy a whole lot at Rolex because one, very expensive, but two, was just really there to be enjoying the whole ambiance. So the, one of the biggest things I did buy there though is this called Leather Seal by Outback. So we're actually going to use this today on my dressage saddle. They tested it on our shoes while we were there. Oh, I can't open it. <laughs> Um, they tested on our shoes while we were there and it did an amazing job so I'm really excited to try it on my dressage saddle and then I was given these cookies called dimple horse treats that I'm gonna give to probably my grandma horse um, today because she's sweet and special but what Brooke and I did end up doing and please pardon the mess in the tack room we're we're gonna be working in the barn today getting stuff cleaned up um, but we ended up going to Dover Saddlery and Saddlery Liquidators. And so this is just kind of a general spring tack, grooming, bathing, etc. haul. So I'll show you some of the goodies that we got. Ultra Shield. <laughs> I love Piranha, but they were out. So I decided to try this one for the first time. So I'm excited about that. Two of our horses kind of have some dry skin and it's kind of gross and nasty. So we picked up this shampoo that it will focus. There we go. Um, it's supposed to help with any fungus or bacteria and stuff, and we find that it works really, really well. So we're excited to get that done on two of my horses. They just both seem to suffer from dry skin. And then we also got one that's supposed to be a moisturizer, so to help moisturize. And of course, what barn is not complete without spray bottles? So we picked up two because I feel like every year when I get them back out for summer, they're broken. So I picked up two more spray bottles to put some fly spray in. And then this is my hands down favorite grooming tool. I think it works really well when you're bathing and it also works well to get hairs off the legs. The grooming mitt. So everybody got a new grooming mitt. Um, my thoroughbred Rose has very thin skinned, so she doesn't like the regular curry comb. So she loves this one. It's nice and not soft, but it is somewhat abrasive, so it helps the hair get attached. So it's nice for using for baths and just as a, like a curry comb. This is what we use to get all the loose hair off. So everybody got a new grooming mitt. <laughs> so that was all from Saturday Liquidators. So then at Dover, my grandma horse, she seems to be rubbing her hind legs, so we got her new splint boots. I didn't want to buy just um, pastern boots for her hind legs. I felt like she needed something a little, a little more steady, so she's going to be in these pretty hunter green. She has such tiny little legs, they only had like three in her size, and I thought she looked good in green. So those are for Sage. I'm excited to to put those on her. A nice soft body brush from Dover. Super soft. Love using this on my horse after I've done their full grooming and just kind of use this to bring out their shine and shimmer of their natural coat color. Love having the super soft body brush. Then also picked up just another, this one's called Winter Circle 100% horse hair, hair brush. And it's also really soft, but it's not quite as soft as the other one. Um, again, Rose is pretty sensitive and thin skinned, so I try to use really soft bristles with her. And then I got two of these. This is new. I've never seen this product before. And the women there were like, oh, that's really neat. So these are called KBF99 Antibacterial Body Brush. Um, and that says, it says, bringing science to the stable. It's an antibacterial product bringing revolution to horse health care, designed to reduce the spread of bacterial and fungal infection, tested by Coventry University for antimicrobial activity, 
and tested against E. coli, Streptococcus equi, strangles, and ringworm. So I figured let's give it a shot, see if it makes a difference. I mean, I don't, my horses don't share brushes, everybody has their own. But what I liked about this is the handle. Unlike other brushes, when they have a handle built in, it's not elastic like that. So when you put your hand into it, it tightens back up on your hand. So it holds the brush in place. No looseness. And again, these bristles are really, really soft. So got two of these, one in blue and one in gray. So that's what we got. A lot of just brushes. We're gonna spend the day bleaching. Bleach is in the main house. <laughs> We're gonna bleach their old brushes and put them away for a while and everybody gets some new brushes. And then um, two of the horses have training rides. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Okay, so we have spent the day, I went and mowed the lawn, so my face is now red, I always get it repeated. Um, but getting the horse's new spring, spring buckets ready, so I'll show you what's in Magic's grooming kit. Major necessity, fly spray, of course. Um, our sleek easy, because she is still shedding, so I figured might as well leave this in a little bit longer. The new, supposed to be, able to keep them from antifungal, yada yada, I don't know, we'll see. Um, the KBF 99, her brush, and again, super soft bristles, so I really like it so far. It's $25 at Dover. And of course, the mane and tail brush. <laughs> if you can't tell the theme, she's green. Um, and then she's got this very soft, oh, all over body brush. I love to finish um, when I'm grooming, finish grooming with this. It, I feel like it really just helps bring out the extra shine. Um, then the curry mitt, 
as well as a curry comb. I feel like you still just can't beat those. Good old hoof pick. And then last but not least, um, a bottle of Thrush Buster. I don't know, I don't know why, but she tends to get thrush. I think she's got really deep heels, um, so she just always seems to get thrush in the frog crevice, so she always has Thrush Buster in her grooming bin. So that's in her kit. My other horses are all very similar. They all have about the same brushes, slightly different colors. Whereas, of course, is pink. And Sage is purple. And as you can see, I've put her new um, boots, split boots in there. And again, she's got a curry comb, glove, and she also has Thrush Buster, because she tends to also suffer from thrush. So those are our spring grooming kits. So earlier when I was telling you what we got at Dover and Sour Liquidators, I totally forgot the most important part of our our haul today, horse treats. So we've done this one before and the horses seem to like it called Magic Middles. And each one um, has like a little candy piece inside. Don't think you can see it all that well. So there's like orange and pink and yellow candy pieces. So they, the horses like that, their absolute favorite, the peppermint lops or pops. Um, they love these guys. So we made these, or yeah, peppermint lops. They have peppermint cookies inside them and actually look closely. This one's already melted, that's so gross. So that was our haul. So clean and organized. Dun, 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 dun. Now it's not clean and organized. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have a favorite grooming supply or stuff that you like to get in the spring, comment below. We'd love to see what your favorite tools of the trade are. Thanks for watching.